Hello again, as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for EliTheComputerGuy.com, ETCGcommunity.com, and today's class is Manage WordPress Content with List Category Posts Plugin. So if you have a small WordPress site, you're probably not worried about how to deal with the content on your WordPress site. Basically, if you have like five or six pages and you just create blog posts, you know, every day about just random things, you probably are not worried about managing that content. That's probably simply simple for you to manage. Now, if you're somebody like me who actually uses WordPress in order to publish a lot of content, so at this point I have somewhere over 500 posts, being able to manage that content so users can actually use it becomes very important. So again, when you have 500 or 1,000 posts and you want your users to be able to access that material easily, it becomes complicated within the WordPress world. Now, if you don't have something like the list category posts plugin, you have to go in and you have to manually edit pages and it's just a pain in the butt. Basically what this plugin allows you to do is it allows you to automatically print out all of the posts in a particular category with particular tags. You can order the, uh, the listing that's shown, that's shown by name, by date, by number of different features. You can say how many posts will be shown uh, and basically things like that. So instead of having to manually go in and write out a bullet point list with hyperlinks, this will automatically do that for you. So if you come to EliTheComputerGuy.com, I have a lot of information on a lot of different subjects. So it's very important for me, for the users, for you guys, to be able to access all that material easily. It's not just important for me to publish the material, but you guys have to be able to access it too. So what I've done is I've created a number of different pages on different subject topics, such as business, computer repair, computer security, web publishing, web design, so, design, so on and so forth. Then on each one of those pages, I've done a title that will say video class, blog posts, and then daily blobs. And then under those titles, it lists all of the content that fits that particular category. This is all done using this particular plugin, and it makes my life very, very easy. So let's go over uh, to elithecomputerguy.com right now, and I'll show you how this works, and I'll show you why this is so great. So we're over here, and we are at elithecomputerguy.com. We go down, we can see all of the content I've created. So this is a listing of all the classes, and I've done a lot of classes. And then these are just some of the daily blobs. I still have to put in more of my daily blobs here, but this is all the material. And so I need to make sure that you guys can access that material relatively easily. So what I've done is if I go over to the left-hand side, I've created all of these different topics. So I can go up here and I can click on the topic for business. So when I click on the topic for business, this will now show me all of the different uh, pieces of content I've created for business. So I can see video classes, and I can see the video classes I've created for business. I can see blog posts, and I can see all the different blog posts I've written for business. And then daily blobs, my, my, my talk show, I can see all the daily blobs where I've talked about business topics. Now normally, uh, in order to create lists like this, I would have to go in and I'd have to manually edit the page and it would be really tedious and really hard. But what this list category post plugin does for you is you're able to just insert a little snippet of code and this plugin will, will then do all of the work for you. So this is the back end of the business topics page that we're just looking at. So this is what you guys see, this is what I see. So what I've done is I have the video class uh, title here, then under it I put the code for this particular plugin. And now this plugin will list all of the posts for video classes uh, that have the tag of business. So when we're looking at this snippet of code, basically we call this code by doing the bracket cat list, category list. Then we say name. So name equals, and this is the category uh, that we want to list. So name equals video class. So I've put all of these uh, video classes into the category of video class. 
Then tags. So tags are the, the little additional tags you can put on different pieces of content. So I've tagged all these video classes as business. So tags equals business. So what this says is any post that has a category of video class and a tag of business, print that out. Then I can do order by, so I can order by name or I can order by date. Then I can say how to order it. Do I want to do it ordered ascending or descending? And then I can say the number of posts that I want to print out. So this then calls category list. It says print out anything within the video class category with the tag of business, order it by the name, order ascending and then do up to 500 posts. So with that, we then see this here. Now if we go down to blog posts, you'll see I created the category of blog, and then again we're doing tags of business, number of posts, daily blob, the category of daily blob, tags business, number of posts. All I have to do is I put that in here, and then that automatically prints the information out here. So right now, like up here, I have it order by name, order ascending. I can do order by name, order descending. Right now, the business of web design is on the top. And if I do a uh, preview change, oh, this is gonna cause me problems today. Oh, preview change. Well, now it's still on the top, but let's see. Um, I can do, let's see, by ascending, preview, uh, preview change, and now getting your business on the internet is on top. So basically, simply by putting in the order by whatever, you can do name, you can do date, you can do whatever you'd like, order ascending, um, or order descending, you can then order all the stuff. So. If you want to learn more about this particular plugin, you can go to wordpress.org and you can look up the list category posts plugin. So this is the name of it. This is the official list. List category posts. You go down to other notes, the other notes tab, and it will give you all the instructions on how to do this. So it'll tell you about tags. It'll tell you about order by. So you can order by author, order by category, content, date, modified name, parent, so on and so forth. They give you a lot of different uh, things here. So what I've done to make sure that this will work on my WordPress site is I've come up with a specific pattern for how I categorize all my content. So I categorize my content essentially by video classes, daily blobs, and blog posts. So those are the categories, the overall categories. Then I have tags for basically what those different categories are talking about. Business, computer security, WordPress, and the like. So if we go over here, we can see the different categories. So I have blog, which has 187 posts. If we go down, we can see that um, I have video classes, which have 124 posts. Um, and then I have my daily blobs here, which currently only have 20 posts. So these are the categories that I've created. Then for tags, if we go over, we can look at my, my big tag cloud right here and we can see all the different tags that I've created. So administration, business, web marketing, publishing, and the like. So when I do this page here, again, category list, name equals blog, tags equals business. So if I put in security or something else, then it would show those particular topics. So if I go down, let's say I do computer repair, I look at this, so computer repair, so these are the video classes, these are the blog posts, these are the daily blobs. If I then go to edit page, we can see here, category list name equals video class, tags equal computer repair. So that's how I've been able to organize all the material. Um,
uh, on my WordPress site. So I have found this works very well. Um, there's, there's not a lag on my WordPress site. It hasn't slowed down my slight in, site in the least. Um, it just works very well. It's very stable. And if you or one of your clients has a WordPress site where you're going to be coming up with a lot of content, remember, not only do you have to publish that content, but you have to make it accessible to your users, to your visitors. If you put up a thousand posts, but visitors can't figure out how to get to the material, well, that doesn't do anybody any good. So this list category post plugin for WordPress allows you to very easily display all of your posts in certain categories and with certain tags and basically just make it easier for your, uh, your users to be able to find everything that you need. Uh, it's free. It's easy to use. It's been reliable for me so far. So overall, it's an incredibly good plugin. So as you know, uh, I'm Eli the Computer Guy. This was Manage WordPress Content with List Category Post Plugin. Again, it is a very good plugin. I really suggest you go take a look at it. I enjoyed uh, teaching this class and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.